that's what we call a dead deer. Hey guys, today talking about this quiver right here. We're gonna just dive in. I'm gonna take you up on the porch here. We're gonna take a look at this. This is that Creek Walker trading quiver from Donnie. This thing is absolutely amazing. And we're gonna dive in. I'm gonna show you all kinds of things about it, as well as how I made it into a six arrow. Dive in, we're gonna cover it all. Stick around, let's go see. Hey guys, Jason here, Traditional Boating Wilderness Podcast. Today we're talking about my Creek Walker Trading Custom Quiver here from Donnie. And uh, I have a video that I'm going to insert in here a little later on into this video or at the end where I have all this stuff taken apart, all the components, show you all the details of this thing. But love this quiver. Um, I've been shooting it a lot for the last few days and uh, trying to fine tune things like I want, see things. You, many of you guys know I shot with six arrows out of my Great Northern Quiver. I liked having six arrows in there. Um, I actually set this one up for six arrows, but I'm Honestly, I, I kind of don't think I need six arrows. I think back on the fact of all the years of every single year, um, other than turkey hunting, I can't tell you, uh, you know, one particular turkey hunt, I can't tell you a time that I've shot out all my other arrows, um, you know, that, so that I need more than four broadheads and one uh, judo. So I'm probably not going to run it, but I will show you here because I actually had it set up and it did work. I just took it off of there, but I had a half of a piggybacker glued right here like that right into that spot it fit right there glued right in there and rested right there and it was perfect and i could put that one and feed another arrow right into there and it might work um but like i said i'm, I'm you know i had this arrow sitting in there you know tucked in there like that and it was basically there but uh it, and it wasn't a big deal but i just i, I don't think i i need it and so I'm going to try and uh, get back into just, you know, using, carrying five. I think I'm going to like it better. Uh, same with my Great Northern because you start putting more in there, just that extra. Remember, I'm shooting a 740 grain arrow. And I uh, used to add one more arrow in there. It's a lot of weight on that quiver moving it around. Um, and I like the feel of this. So I'm probably going to stick with it as a true five arrow like it's designed to be. Um, and again, probably with my Great Northern too, just because I never need that extra arrow. Now, I always carry an extra broadhead in my pack already in a, P in a Kydex case. Um, so if I were to shoot out my, say I was deer hunting and I dropped one arrow, fell out of my tree, it was hanging here and it fell out and it hit the ground. So then I'm down one arrow, it gives me three left, I put another one on there, I shoot and miss a deer that comes by, um, and then I got just two arrows left. If that worries me and I want to have more arrows, then I'll run down and grab one of those arrows, I'll swap the broadhead out to the brand new broadhead, put it back, you know, the doll one in my pack, put that right back in my quiver and I'm ready to go. So, and, and since I've been doing that and made that Kydex case for that broadhead and it's always in my pack, I just don't see the need to have that sixth arrow on here anymore, but I did want to make sure I could do it and that's how I would do it right there. Like I said, it was sweet, simple and easy and it worked fantastic. I put on my social media too, but just took this and glued it right there and it was hard to get that off without ripping nothing so once it's on there it would hold really good i thought about leaving that on there as well too but then it's just going to convince me that i want to carry one more arrow so i actually popped it off of there and uh and we're going to run it this way but there it is right there I picked this slogan here for Lord Willing as uh, something to put on there because uh, Donnie asked me, he said, do you want anything engraved on it? I said, you know what? Put Lord Willing because every single thing, that I, every sentence I say, every stalk I do, everywhere I get out of the truck to go hunt, everything in life could start or end with that phrase. So I put it on there. We got Donnie's amazing logo right on here. Hang on. There you go right there. It's Creek Walker logo. And he just does such a fantastic job. Like I said, you will see a close-up setup of this quiver without the arrows in it and all that stuff in just a minute at the end of this. You can see excellent clearance on my fletching. Um, I love the way it wraps around, and I also love how high this quiver shifts up my bow, okay? Um, my Great Northern, where the straps are in the same position as my Great Northern hood would be about here, and the bottom of the arrows would be down here, okay? Well, this, because of the way it's set up, not only does it expand out the point from here to the grippers is much greater, yet I'm still in the riser section, okay, of the bow, which I like. We're still gripping in the riser, so we're not actually in working parts of the limb. But it shifts this point up high and this point further down that these arrows don't move. They don't rattle. They don't bounce off each other. My feathers don't touch. There's no noise. That's my wedding ring hitting there, but there's no noise in them. And uh, so I really like that. Very rock solid and stable. It does not move on here at all. I mean, there is no movement once this is strapped on. All right, here's the components of this. Now, Donnie will make your foam pretty much, and he's got a few different color options. He usually does the dark gray, but he, he knows that I like the white. So this is the uh, raw foam color 
for the insert that's going to be in here so that I can, you know, uh, some of this stuff is markings on there because I was actually setting arrows on here trying to figure out where I want to be at. But um, I like the original or the simple white foam because it's easier to see in the dark. Uh, putting in there and he knew that so that's what he sent me there too but uh, you can get replacement foam for these we'll show you the quiver in a second also uh, the reason Donnie sent it to me with the foam out and not glued in because he does usually put a couple dabs of glue in there to hold that into place when it's in there the reason he sent it to me without that is because these are my ashes for my son um, and I keep them in my quiver so those are going to go up here in the hood of my quiver and stay in there all the time so that way I don't have to fight to get it out he just sent it to me loose like that so we have those set up that'll be in there. Let's look at the quality of this thing here first for a second. I mean, we are talking top shelf all the way on this quiver. I mean, we are talking top shelf quality on this 3D printed sandwich parts here. Beautiful setup in this thing. Look at this. I mean, love it. This is just in this. Look at the back. I don't even know what wood this is. I got to ask him what that is what this wood veneer is that's on here, but here's what it's like if you get a wood version. I specifically said make it a regular wood on the back and a snake skin on the front, um, so I could admire both parts of that, and uh, that's what we have here, but beautiful, beautiful whatever wood this is that I'm going to have to check with him to find out, because I did not ask him. And then on this side, we have timber rattler. So we have timber rattlesnake skins on here. Just gorgeous. They wrap right around. So you can see, did such a beautiful job on this quiver. I mean, the fit and finish and quality is exactly what you would expect from Donnie. I mean, just superb. And look at the beef and thickness of this thing. Okay, I mean, that's pretty heavy duty, yet very, very lightweight. But that is a heavy duty lam multi laminated piece of this stuff that's in here. Um, just well, well done. Built very well and strong. Uh, now the grippers, what's really cool about the grippers, these are actually from Great Northern Bowhunting Company. Okay, that's fantastic. Why is that fantastic? Because they're the same ones that we use on our Great Northern Bows right here. Okay, and I have tons of extras. I have like eight, eight sets of straps for these because I've been shooting these quivers so, for so long. So it's nice to know that if I need to fix these, or if I can always carry my extras, but I can put these on here. All he did is this is a brass pin uh, with a flat back that goes on there, but basically these will slide. I can take this gripper off, and we can slide these straps off, and then put this pin, feed it through, you know, poke a hole in that and feed it through, and then put the new straps right on. So easy to do, and plus, this gives some adjustability. It's too hard to do with one hand, but I can slide this a little bit either way. You know, I get about that much adjustability for where I want to slide this strap to, on each end that I can adjust this, you know, wherever I want it to fit the best on my bow. So that's a very nice feature that he, uh, you know, how these work in that setup on there. And you can see, we'll show you more when it's on the bow, but you can see that handle cutout snake style design here, right here, where that cuts out for your hand and for your grip. That's going to be fantastic. We'll show you that more detail here pretty soon once we get it all set up. You can see bolt set up here. You can see inside this hood, look at the quality of this thing. Hey, look at that, just how well done that is. This is just outstanding. Okay, I mean, just absolutely outstanding quality on this thing. I, I cannot say enough about that. I am so excited. And this gripper is thick and strong, and man, does it hold an arrow. Again, we'll show you that when we put it together. And uh, you can see here what I'm, what I'm real excited about for this is the distance... We're getting for the grippers here. So if we're going to move this over, put these two side by side. Here's my my Great Northern that I, I use all the time. Okay, but notice on here how much longer we have on the back of this gripper-wise to get to those arrows to keep them from rattling. Now, you can get an adjustable model of this quiver. Let me zoom you out a little bit. There you go. Like this. Let me come over here. You can get an adjustable model of this quiver where you have that luxury of being able to, you know, lengthen these, and that's definitely there. But notice that from the clamp points, you get this much over. Because remember, we got to keep the clamps. These these tie strap-on points have to be in the riser of the bow. They cannot be out in the working part of the limb. So it's kind of nice that you get all this length. And he even makes some that are longer uh, from this point back so that you can get even longer. That's the one James has. is extended out even further for his longer arrows. But it's nice to see 
that you have that distance here from where this is still on the riser, but these are out there to hold your arrows from rattling. Same in the front, notice here, but then notice how much further up it is to the hood. Kind of a nice feature. I'm pretty excited about that and checking it out. So uh, this, the quality though, the, the, like I said, the, everything about this thing, this, this quiver is just straight up beauty and perfection all in one. And I cannot wait to get this set up. Like I said, I already kind of had the foam sitting in there, you know, just kind of tucked in there, had the arrows laid out about where I want. We're going to set all that up here pretty quick, but you can buy extra straps from Great Northern or you can get these from Donnie. So that's nice if you needed it. You can also get extra foam. If you needed extra foam, he will make and sell you extra hood foam if you need it. Um, any part of this is replaceable. Anything at all that gets damaged or hurt or you need it replaced, the grippers, everything. Like any good quiver company, Donnie has all that and can get it all for you right from Creek Walker Trading. We put our slogan on there lord willing the reason we put that on there is because every sentence basically every sentence i say uh could start or end with that you know i'm gonna try and catch up to that hog lord willing we'll make it you know that kind of thing anything at all hopefully i get to get in the woods next week lord willing you know it just it's it's there so it was kind of a perfect phrase uh to put on here so but this is that look of some of this basic stuff now we're gonna build this and uh get it ready get it on a bow and see what we think about it but pretty dang impressive uh, by all means what a what an excellent quiver so stick around but i like that setup that my arrows are all now shifted a little higher up on the bow rather than being down here on the bow where it's closer to hanging out down there so i really like the design i love this i mean don't get me wrong i love the great northern quiver um but this one here i'm very very impressed with i'm excited to in the grippers man this thing holds an arrow look at this i mean this holds an arrow listen I mean, that holds an arrow on there. Those arrows are locked in and not going anywhere. And I love that. So, so far shooting here, which I've only been shooting in my yard, a couple hundred arrows out of it. But I don't have that where my arrows are like creeping down and I got to constantly push them back up into the quiver. I don't have any of that happening. The hood foam is phenomenal because like I said, you can see in here that I've got a lot of changes around in there and a lot of different cuts. That was me experimenting with the six arrow and how that would work and exactly how I wanted things. I mean, I was sliced this thing is just trashed in there yet it still it reseals itself very well i mean i'm very impressed with this hood foam that's in here and how it works so uh like i said phenomenal quiver i'm super excited about this thing uh i can't wait hopefully tomorrow will be the first day we get out and actually hunt with it but it's comfortable it's not in my way you can see this beautiful bow you know in the frame right there gets completely out of the way of my hand completely and even when i'm carrying it you can see that there's not, you know, my hand doesn't hit on there anywhere. There's a ton of room in there to carry that comfortably. Like I said, it's a perfect shape. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing quiver. Absolutely amazing quiver. And like I said, all parts are replaceable, modifiable. I already just told, I sent Donnie a text the other or uh, yesterday. Said, hey, I, I, all right, I, I shot it a lot. I love it. It's staying on my bow. Now I want spare parts. So I sent him some money and I said, look, I want uh, I want a spare gripper. So I have one, a whole assembly there. So I got a spare to throw in my, my bag. I said, I already have extra. I got tons of these great northern straps. So I'm like, I already got that. I want one, uh, two more of these brass pins just in case I lost one or something happened. Or you know anything i want two of those and i want uh one more of the hood foam so i'm like send you know send those to me um so i, I sent him money bought all that stuff they'll be coming and now i have spare parts for this quiver i love it i straight up love this quiver it is amazing i am excited for it 